Scott, are we going halfsies on a Mustang GTD? Yes. All right, let's do it. It's very, like, I've got to control the language. Okay. It's freaking cool. It's freaking cool. And now we're about to see a pretty special review from Ford, the Mustang GTD. Uh, I have to just take a quick step back to explain the purpose of why this vehicle exists. Um, like most good things, uh, it's been in the works for a long time. Uh, we, know in, we knew in 2015 that we would have the opportunity to win and compete in Le Mans 50 years after we had won outright. Our first time, first of four times. The engineering team and even the, uh, Larry Holt at Multimatic to talk about whether we could uh, bring Mustang to win the GT class at Le Mans. And we traveled race tracks around the world. We did a lot of simulation. Larry did a lot of simulation. It became very clear that it would just be too difficult and dependent on the regulators for the vehicle to win because of the, the, the rules at the time and their Mustang at the time. Um, since then, we've had two generations of Mustang. And we did the Ford GT because we thought that was the best way for us to win the GT class. But we always had this car in the back of our mind as leaders at Ford. How can we take Mustang, which is now the best-selling sports coupe in the world? Well, a lot of people think of 911 and we think a lot of other cars, but it's, it's pretty amazing. You know, big markets. We have big markets in Australia and, and Sweden, uh, not just the U.S. Um, and so this is now a global car for us. Right-hand drive, left-hand drive, huge export volumes, really important to us. And a couple of years ago, we started to develop a strategy to race Mustang. We looked at what Mazda had done and especially what Porsche had done with their racing program. And we thought maybe we could do it even better than they would, uh, which is a quite a different effort than the Ford GT. Uh, so, you've started to see some of the pieces, but tonight you're going to see the pinnacle of that whole strategy. Um, we race the seventh generation Mustang uh, in NASCAR, we race it in NHRA, we race it in Australian supercars. Uh, we will now have a uh, track version. We have our own race series for Mustangs coming up. Uh, we have um, also the first level of endurance racing, uh, amateur level, a uh, car that's specifically built, built for those customers. We then have our GT4 and GT3 for both IMSA and WEC. And I don't think there's a nameplate in our industry that covers that much ground globally. On any given weekend, over the next couple of years, you're gonna see Mustangs race in literally 20, 30, 40 countries. It's really special especially as an American company, the most American company, we're extremely proud. And that all comes down to how do we translate that to the road? And that's what this car's about. It's called the Mustang GTD because of its class, and the concept for the car is really simple. We want to take the race car and actually make the road car better than the race car, if that's possible. And we're going to have some really cool guests who are going to give you an insight. The car looks great, but what really matters about this car, the truth in the car, is the technology in the car. It looks great, but the technology is what's going to make the biggest difference for the customers. So let's take a look at the car, and then we're going to have some special guests explain it to you. Thank you. So we take what we're really good at, like a Mustang, and we do the unthinkable and take on the Europeans punch for punch at what they've been doing for decades as an underdog. Ford's really going to make a road-going version of that GT3 race car. It takes it to the best supercars in the world. How far can we push what's under the skin of this car? This is a track monster that will make our jaws drop. All of that technology focused on to go like hell.
amateur road legal GTD car. 800 plus horsepower, supercharged, dry sump, 5.2 V8, rear wheel drive, I mean, magnesium wheels, carbon ceramic brakes, inboard push rod suspension, active aero with a drag reduction system. They said even the headlights have downforce. <laughs> this is pretty epic. About $300,000 starting price and a bit over a year to start building these things. But man, 325s up front. What's in back? We'll put 325s up front, cup two R's. They got 345, 20 inch magnesium wheels. Look how wide the body is. Active aero with a drag reduction system, DRS, variable traction control. The GTD, man. Titanium exhaust, Krapovich. And just from a styling standpoint, this thing looks so crazy. See the, the cooling up front, the radiators. It is so ridiculously wide. And the hood, I mean, it's got hood pins there, giant vents, the yellow DRLs. Again, evolving, still looking like a Mustang. It does also make the Dark Horse look absolutely puny. We have a huge front splitter. We've got dive planes up front. Magnesium wheels, huge brakes. Look at these fender vents too. Functional. And then around back. I mean, just the profile, the side profile of this rear wing is ridiculous. Rear end is also pretty crazy. It's all vented back here. There's more cooling. We have a GTD badge with some carbon fiber on it. Looks like the taillights are shared with the road car. Big diffuser. You can see the tire through the diffuser right there. Crazy. This thing is so ridiculously wide. Compared to a regular S650, Dark Horse, whatever, it is just a whole other level. Look at how much this fender flares out. Man, this thing is ridiculous. The wing, the arrow. So the Mustang GTD is street legal and we we're just talking about what it could be like and compare it to something like my Z06 which is very fast on the track but I think this will be even faster because it is more track focused. This Mustang GTD is an actual race car for the road. Things like the suspension, it's got wider tires, 325s up front, 345s out back. It probably won't be that comfortable on the street. That being said, a Huracan STO is also insanely uncomfortable on the street but it's for that capability. This thing, I mean, inboard the push rod suspension, variable traction control, the active aero with drag reduction system. All the components are going to come together. Plus, I mean, 800 plus horsepower from that supercharged 5.2 liter V8. It's going to be potent. Tim, give me I, some of your thoughts on the GTD. It's very, I, I've got to control the language. Okay. It's freaking cool. It's freaking cool. It looks immense. Yes. As an owner of a GT500 track pack and obviously a lover of limited Fords yes. or GT, yeah. I've been waiting for this thing, knew it was coming. I just think it needs to be grabbed and driven and pushed hard. I mean, there's so much cool stuff about it. Transaxle, oh yeah. suspension setup, 325 wide fronts. And 345s out back. Up two R's. DRS, I mean, yes. rear wing. That wing is absolutely immense. Like, Do you know what's also crazy? It's a 2025, right? Yeah. Something like the late 2024, yeah. 25. It's got a V8 that makes a stonking 800 plus horsepower. America. 2025. America, that's what we do here. I'll live it. I love the it is performance out. is still doing it. Yes, it is the best. Well, all right, go do your video. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so some final thoughts on the Ford Mustang GTD. I definitely did not expect them to do that. I thought like Dark Horse, maybe a little more aggressive, eventual Shelby model, but that is a straight up GT class race car for the road. The tech looks crazy. Yes, the price is very, very high. I already posted on social media and people on Facebook and Instagram are like, oh my gosh, that's so much money. It's expensive, but if the performance matches the pedigree and everything, right, it makes sense. Sub seven minute Nürburgring time, as soon as I heard that, that's what they're targeting. I was like, whoa, okay, that's gonna be impressive. So first look at the new Mustang GTD. I do have a Mustang sized hole in my life right now because the Shelby is gone. So maybe, maybe, but uh, that was a really cool opportunity to see that car. Hope you guys enjoyed this first look video.